Welcome back to the NICTREC series. As part of the Texas Wristband Tutorial Series, this specific video will be focusing on guiding EMS providers through the two wristband structures, as well as their responsibility in their usage within the program. We'll first begin by going over the structure of each wristband, starting with the Texas EMS wristband. The single teal band provides a striking contrast from most bands used in the healthcare field. Within this close-up, you'll see the main portion of the band with both the barcode and the readable, unique, alphanumeric characters. The clasping mechanism is also similar to other common bands utilized within medical facilities. These wristbands are designed for everyday usage, with emphasis on making them a standard part of patient care. The goal is to utilize this band on every patient every time ensuring that their unique identifier is readily available. Moving on, we'll lead into the more detailed option, the EMS triage wristband. These wristbands have a specific use and structure to provide support for mass casualty incident events, or MCI events. As highlighted here, there are 25 wristband tags per bundle, with a terrible feature to remove each one. When applying to a patient, Thread the end of the band through one of the loops found at the base of the barcodes before removing the adhesive tab found on the end. Please remember, do not remove the adhesive until after it's been threaded through the loop. Additionally, an advanced feature of this band is the triage color tabs at the end. This capability will work with traditional and contemporary triage methodologies, such as SALT and START. EMS providers are encouraged to use the terrible tabs to provide a physical status marker on their patients. Further down on the band, you will find three additional barcodes that copy the main unique identifier on the inner band. This will allow for other healthcare providers to keep or share a physical copy of the information on the patient, such as giving a copy to other agencies or facilities, as well as attaching onto patient belongings, as shown here. Please note, if the EMS triage wristbands are unavailable on the scene of an MCI, the project encourages usage of the Texas EMS wristband as an alternative. Although the triage portion would be missing, the key component of the unique identifier would still be utilized. As with both bands, their structure and layout optimize the full aspect of the easy to record ID information. With the structure review now completed, we'll move into the program requirements highlighted for both the EMS and hospital providers. To ensure the success of the Texas EMS wristband project, certain requirements and operational guidelines are in place for all participating EMS agencies and hospitals. But let's break it down. First and foremost, all participating organizations must be DISHES licensed and are expected to comply with the requirements set forth. EMS providers play a crucial role in this project. They will be responsible for placing the wristband on every patient every day by air or ground on transport or transfers to destination facilities. They are also expected to record the unique identifier in their electronic patient care report, or EPCR. Specifically, within a queryable field and not within a free text field of the patient's chart. This ensures that the wristband's identifier is linked to the patient's record, facilitating accurate data management and patient tracking. It's important that the wristband stays on the patient throughout the transfer. Only when the patient is discharged home can the EMS provider remove the wristband. This ensures continuity in patient identification and accountability, minimizing the risk of any confusion or errors during the process. Next, we'll go over some examples. If arriving for an interfacility transfer and the patient does not already have a wristband, we encourage the placement of a Texas EMS wristband by the EMS provider. Upon application, please ensure that the sending hospital records the unique identifier within their records before beginning transport. The project also requires EMS agencies and hospitals to be enrolled in Pulsera, a digital communication tool as this is essential for the MCI patient tracking component. This platform facilitates real-time information exchange and collaboration during MCI events, 
improving communication and coordination among healthcare providers. The project encourages active participation and utilization of Pulsera during these critical incidents, ensuring efficient tracking and allocation of resources to deliver the best possible care to patients. Additionally, we have a few reminders we have for providers as they progress through the project. Please keep in mind, the left hand of the patient is the most preferred option for wristband placement. Additionally, we encourage providers to utilize the barcode and QR code whenever possible for easier recording of the unique identifier. This prevents any potential errors when inputted manually. During MCI events, if the EMS triage wristbands are unavailable, the Texas EMS wristbands can be substituted for patients. However, remember that patients should never have more than one EMS wristband on at a time. If you happen upon a soiled or illegible wristband, replace it. However, continue to use the original unique identifier, not the new one. Rewrite the original unique identifier on the new wristband and notify facility staff during handoff. Finally, let's provide a quick wrap up of the previous content via the wristband two-step. As mentioned prior, there are central points EMS providers should follow to prevent any issues or occurrences with the patient. First, place a single wristband on the patient. This will ensure that only one unique identifier is applied to the patient for this incident. Second, providers must remember to record the unique identifier into their EPCR to allow for tracking of the patient information. By meeting these requirements and utilizing the Pulsera platform, EMS agencies and hospitals can maximize the benefits of the Texas EMS wristband as well as the EMS triage wristband. It enables streamlined communication, accurate patient tracking, and efficient data management, fulfilling the goal of the project for patients within our service area. We hope this provided a comprehensive breakdown of day-to-day -day usage for the wristbands. As always, RAC staff is available should you have any questions over any of the components. We also encourage you to visit the NICTRAC website, specifically the Texas EMS Wristband Project webpage, where additional information and resources can be found.